Winter is coming. Uh, um, no, actually, just what's trending is coming. What's trending? We're fine. It's rolling. We're rolling. Winter is coming. Charlie. Winter is coming. And uh, Schaefer. Winter is coming. Jimmy Kimmel had Game of Thrones' Kit Harington on last night, and also three of the internet's best Jon Snow impressionists. Well, two of the internet's best Jon Snow impressionists and some guy from Sherman Oaks. All three of the impressionists were challenged with reading not so Jon Snow-like things, like a shampoo bottle or a box of cereal. Every Kellogg's Frosty's Flake starts as a grain of corn. <laughs> Grown in a farmer's field where it's nice and sunny. <laughs> then it takes just a few simple steps to get to your bowl. Contestant Steve Love threw in some bonus impressions, including Lord Varys. Spider. And Peter Baelish. He's Littlefinger. And also Sam Tarly, Samuel Tarly. Kit is everywhere this week, promoting this Sunday's season finale of Game of Thrones. Here he is on James Corden, talking about not knowing his real name. Not on my passport, no, it's Christopher. It's Christopher, and I didn't know, I didn't know that until I was like, I didn't. I didn't mean? know it until I was know. like 11 years old. Noel Aranda says, the first guy does Jon Snow better than Jon Snow does Jon Snow. So what you're saying is, you know nothing, Kit Harrington. Biku One <laughs> says, Kit is a weird name though. Is it short for like Kitty or something? Yeah, that man's name is Kitty Harrington. Angel77777771 says, the last guy's John impersonation sounded more like Theon. I think it's his teeth. Who do you guys think did the best John Snow? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and don't say the guy in the middle or else we won't trust your opinion anymore. Subscribe for more What's Trending.